Audio's rolling. Are you man and woman? You are now streaming an American podcast called s and Hello and welcome to another episode of the S and D podcast. S&D podcast. I'm D. Yes, <laughs> and we're joined by Mr. Patrick Doran of Power hey, Ballast, U uh, Burger Basement Legend. Oh, dude, Muya Burger. <laughs> not, oh, yeah. Not but it used to be U yeah. Burger. Yeah, it yeah. was U Burger. Mm-hmm. I would, what is U Burger? Don't worry about our age discrepancy. When yeah. I went to Emerson, it was called U Burger, which is a chain oh, okay. I've never heard of before. Yeah, I'd never yeah. heard of Muya either. <laughs> yeah, it's and then money laundering. I spent like so much fucking time. In that basement, dude, that space for was like sick. Ever. Like, oh was yeah, like bags place. of patties and shit. Oh yeah, it kind of had a, it had a, a, an energy to it, an ambiance. Mm-hmm. Remember, yeah. there was that, uh, there was that. I forget. I think his name was Mike. Mm-hmm. He was the the homeless guy in the wheelchair, and he would <laughs> he would go into that that like hotel or whatever it was. I think it was like an assisted living home uh-huh. that was next door, and he would go into that elevator. <laughs> And then he would go down and then open the emergency door that was behind the mm. mic. That what? Everyone was, you never saw that happen? <laughs> I don't think so. There oh, was like yeah, it was characters when Neil, coming yeah. down. Yeah. It was when Neil was hosting it. And <laughs> he just, yeah, he just he pulled up and then like he just opened the door and Neil turned around <laughs> and Mike was sitting there and he just waved and then shut the door. <laughs> it was sick. Did he was he surprised at what he saw? I think he I think he was just saying hi to Neil. Him and Neil had like a rapport. Oh, so he knew. Oh, he was just there. like Neil's down there. Yeah, I'm gonna go yeah. say hi to him. <laughs> my boy. Yeah. Oh my god. That's Man. like that's like downer core thinking. Did you he? Know? Ever? I'll, I'll I'll just say hi. <laughs> <laughs> just saying hello. Well, did he ever do a set or anything like that? No, I don't think he ever did a set. Oh I wish. Yeah. That would have been. He was a nice guy. I like that guy. Right. Would have been tough to follow. A lot of yeah. a lot of characters around that <laughs> fucking methadone clinic. Yeah, there was on, a methadone on, clinic. Yeah, in Tremont, yeah. yeah. That like came out like the, my like second that. year of school. And we're like, there's a and, like you noticed, like people got like way crazier. Yeah. I got like choked by a guy one time. Really? Whoa. Yeah, I got like choke slammed against my like <laughs> dorm. I just what? remember I was, by a methadone guy? By like a methed out individual. His Root? teeth were so scary. Oh yeah. My God. Like, <laughs> what was the altercation? What was the I think I was just like laughing loudly at something and he thought I was laughing at him. Oh Damn. yeah. And I guess, you know, the funny story is here is like, I was like with a girl and then like, <laughs> we had sex like right after. <laughs> oh, after you got choked? Okay. And it was like very okay. jokey oh. sex as well. Like she oh. saw that and was like, all right. Yeah, yeah that, that seems good. Game on. Yeah, that guy's got the right idea. Oh my God. This guy can be domed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, You're a domable guy. Well, that was yeah. the one that was like right next to the, they put it next to the Freemasons Lodge, right? It was down the street. Yeah, this is yeah. like oh. insane street. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. that's a it, sick lineup. That uh, what was that place? <laughs> well, yeah. now now it's the Freemason Lodge, and then right next to it was that that cafe Explorator. Oh. Explorator's gone. That was now. that was new. Yeah, Explorator's already gone. Now it's like the Guy Fieri, like what like, uh, the Flavor Town. It bar got and gentrified grill. by oh. Flavor Town. Yeah, it got it got changed to the Flavor Town <laughs> Bar and Grill, which what, is like what if he's just like slowly upgrade. buying Boston over time? That'd be so sick. <laughs> that would it be Flavor incredible. Town. <laughs> that would be one of the greatest like just fucking the whole entire that whole block leveled out by Guy Fieri <laughs> would be so incredible it's like better than a fucking suburb I guess yeah, yeah. yeah. he takes over the TAM <laughs> oh that is- are you kidding me yeah get a riverboat on there oh yeah, yeah. yeah. you gotta Get a riverboat Ooh. casino. <laughs> that would be cool. Launder some money through there. That would be sick. These whiskey sours are gangster. <laughs> <laughs> I love when he uses gangster as an oh, adjective. Yeah. It's only with black chefs as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These fries are are crippy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Do you think we should just jump into calls like super early? I well, feel like sh- let's hit them. I dude. feel like I yeah, I, yeah, I, got, I, I got think a lot we got a lot of people to contact. Do you, yeah. use, do you usually like just uh we do a little chat? Yeah, just a then, little bit up top. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. yeah. But there's been do a people, lot of do people like when you do the because I feel like <laughs> we don't get a, we don't get a we lot of um, no. feedback. Yeah, <laughs> we we would like some feedback, but um, okay. but no, but we don't get like hey, just do this or just do this. We're just uh-huh. kind of blindly guessing. Okay, as if what the audience. Yeah, 
did once. like 25 we, minutes on creatine. We also don't, yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> we do a lot of creatine. <laughs> and there's been a lot of Muya talk because you know, do you know Ethan Mead? Yeah, you know yeah. Because he was on here last week. Okay. That's a yeah. Well, they'll know that by the time this comes out. Oh, <laughs> so I mean, okay. <laughs> but, um, they'll know that. But uh, but we talked about Muya with him, and now this is wow. the, yeah, this is a Muya sort of thing. So wow. we're gonna get we're gonna. It have, is crazy that we all know yeah. each other from. The basement of like a um, chain restaurant really that only yeah. exists <laughs> in like GTA Five. Yeah, like there's no way I have not seen a single Muya burger around no. here. No, it, it it's it feels like it, it's like a fake. And yeah, they change the chain like every yeah. five years. Yeah, I wonder. If, I, I know it's like, still there. I yeah. know it's still there because I think Mary's hosting that now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Which yeah, I think I'm. I might be going there in like two weeks. Really? Uh, you're gonna do. Yeah. A, you're gonna do a set. I might go do a Muya set. Oh, yeah. that would be sick. Which dude. would be cool. Oh man, I would love to go back. Yeah. Get down there. Oh my god. Remember when people would peek down and then get scared? Yeah. Do were you the there? <laughs> that was <laughs> awesome. Were, were, were you there people? when the school field trip came in? No. <laughs> No, how there's, old? There wasn't enough Dude. seating. Yeah. No, no. It was like these kids were on a field trip to the <laughs> oh. common or whatever, like going to see Faneuil Hall, and it's like, you know, only like 10 minutes away. Yeah. And I was hosting, and it was like one of those nights where it's like probably like 10 people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Classic. Like one of those ones where it's like, I should call it, but I'm fucking <laughs> I got nothing else to I've do. I've built myself up for yeah, this. Yeah, I've like, prepared for it. I've, like, yeah. I'm already fucking here. I don't want to yeah. take the green line or the, the fucking end, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And uh, Not yet, yeah. Nobody was, like, there. It was, it was all, like, it was whatever. I think there was another, there was a show or something. And then I, I was already, like, a pitcher of beer deep. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just checked out mm -hmm. and this fucking field trip comes down they're heckling every single comic that oh goes my up God. how old are they like they got to be like like 17 something like that and so they're like old like, enough that it's, it's like, like 9 p.m or something it's it was like five. Oh, okay so yeah. it was like and old how enough deep, that how they deep was the crew do like 10 yeah like 10 they knew they could 10, take like us. way more yeah no they I, knew they could. i'm not i'm not dealing with this at all <laughs> i'm just letting everything fucking happen there's no fear and then one of them signs up for the like he's like how do i how do i go up i was oh, like oh wow. yeah you can just sign up <laughs> you guys suck let and me, then let me show you how it's done. yeah this kid goes up and <laughs> oh, he does this God. like this set or he's like let me tell you all about the first time i ever had sex oh yeah <laughs> so i was in the room like um Wait, no, you can't, no, because then it'll go back to the school. You can't record this. Okay. Yeah. All, yeah, right, yeah. Um, okay, all right, later. And then he like <laughs> runs. <laughs> He's like, that's he enough. Runs out. He got yeah. off? Yeah, I was like, yeah, wow. it's not so fucking easy, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's huh? tough. Yeah, some of us are sitting down here <laughs> in this <laughs> fucking basement every other night. Some of us put in the work. Yeah. yeah come <laughs> below on, this huh? fast food restaurant. <laughs> in, this, in this fucking, this mooya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That sounds like a. Uh, it sounds like the fucking restaurant they would work at in a Disney original. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah it does. Like some teenager. It also sounds like something you'd say in the Marines. Oh yeah. Booyah, yeah. brother. Booyah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a fucking. I don't know. You ever have the hot dogs there? No, I yeah, never, never ate there. No. I've, I've eaten there. Yeah. I yeah. use the bathroom a lot. But I oh, never... that one with the buzzer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where you gotta ask the guy, hey, I gotta do this. Yeah. And then he'll let you in. Yeah, I ate the, uh, I, I got two hot dogs one time because I was like really fucking hungry. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it was one like, bun. Two I glasses. think they were like $10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had no fucking idea. Ooh, yeah. Bro. Yeah, it was like, like, oh, yeah, they're probably, it's a hot dog. Like, what is it? It's like 7 Eleven, it's only like five bucks, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, it was double because it had like, you know, it was like, it was a gourmet. Good. gourmet <laughs> it was like, it was like a good hot dog. Yeah. It, it was really good. I don't regret buying two hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, I don't just regret so you know. it. Yeah, yeah, I fucking you're watching it. Huh? I do not regret buying two hot dogs, but mm -hmm. I definitely I love, shouldn't have. I love to see that on like a uh, Yelp or something of the city, like best places to eat in Boston. Yeah. Best places to get you two hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an you interesting test, by. you know. Well, I think one makes stop you sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one definitely will good to sick. get two. Yep, <laughs> I can tell you that. One will make you sick. Two will make you feel pretty uh, good. Two. It cancels it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's that joke from that show, The Detroiters, like the I think you should leave guy. He's mm -hmm. like, I feel so sick. And they're like, what'd you have for lunch? And he's like, I had like five hot dogs. He's like, well, there's your problem. <laughs> You're starving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Man, that show was so good. <laughs> the show was pretty good. I missed that show. Yeah. Oh, you should have made 16 more seasons of that. Mm-hmm. What's the deal with that? You know, I'm really sad about I got into that how to with John Wilson mm-hmm. on HBO. I saw him last night at a bar. For real? Yeah, just he's, Did he have I a just, steady cam on? No. Yeah, <laughs> you would think. Yeah. He would what think. was he like? I just saw he was normal. He's regular? <laughs> yeah, he's a normal guy. Really? Yeah. Damn. I just saw he was just there with his friends, and I was like, oh. I just moved into the, I just moved to Ridgewood. Oh, okay. I guess he lives around Because he's around there. Whenever I see the, I see, oh, I know about that thing. I see yeah. that thing. Yeah, yeah. New York City thing. And I'm mm. like, damn, dude, I, he's been around. We've been in the same tracks. Uh-huh. We've been. <laughs> That's Port Authority. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. No fucking way. <laughs> Whoa. It's the Empire. Hey, I have fucking Empire State Building's in this fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> what? No way. It is hard not to do that when you recognize it, though. Like, it is. Yeah. A lot of movies that are like based in New York are like shot in Chicago. And I lived in Chicago for a summer. And I'm like, huh, that's Chicago. And everyone's yeah. like, shut up. Dude, yeah. <laughs> We're watching Batman right or now. Or with yeah. the rehearsal with the Alligator Lounge. Because they oh, do yeah, mics there yeah. all the time. I was like, no fucking way. Yeah, now now everyone just fucking, they have like a, that's they, they got a space. drink called the Nathan Fielder there now. <laughs> And is then it, the, is it like uh, the orange shoes? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's wild, dude. Bring him back. Because there was one episode where he bought a house from his landlord. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. And the person who gave him the loan was like, well, you got to prove that you can make things uh, like consistently. Like you're going to have more work coming. And he's like, yeah, I got it. Mm-hmm. And then, <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know what he's doing now. But like he's only... doing a th- season three. Is he doing season yeah, three? I think so. Oh, I for some reason I, think I can it was... go back to that bar and just wait for him. We I gotta think. ask. Yeah, <laughs> hey, bro, is that? I'll just, I'll just stand there, him. just like standing <laughs> in the bar, and like, is Joan coming? Back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 we're we gonna get a season three, or what's going on? I, I, I was just on a podcast, and I need to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't ask. have answers. I'm gonna go back on in like th- three or four weeks when, yeah. when the thing comes out. We'll edit it and post. Yeah. And we'll yeah. Put the answer. Oh yeah, no, I'll go in front of a green screen. I'll, I'll like. <laughs> yeah. I'll just get empty shots of the empty set. I'll uh-huh. sit in front of the green there screen. There better be a just... silly guy here in 30 minutes <laughs> yeah. with a steady cam who sounds like Kermit the Frog. I'm waiting. Yeah. <laughs> or else I'm not fucking paying for these Really drinks. eloquent <laughs> and detailed man. Yeah. All right. Let's hit these calls, dude. Let's yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you? Who are you calling first? Well, let's see here. I got a few different options. Mm-hmm. I might do, I might call it Denny's. Okay. Yeah, I might give Denny's a call. See what's going on with them. I'm really sad. Denny's that, where? Um, it's uh, well, we're not supposed to say where now. Yeah, because, uh, now because now there's legal say. implications with. Uh, oh. we've learned that you can be sued and things like that. And oh, we're, cool. we're, we're, we're about real. fifteen, ep- well, twenty episodes deep when we yeah <laughs> when we learned that. There yeah, isn't be- there? It's uh, what, what is it like Utah or something? Is like a safe haven? Is it? Yeah, the I Mormons. think that's where they shot all of the crank anchors. Really? Yeah. Good to know. Utah. Yeah, I mean, they're all, they're Utah. all puppets. I feel like that's how Mormons like look at the world. Right. They see in, <laughs> in puppet. Every everyone's fucking... a white puppet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny what NBA players say about playing for the Utah Jazz, which is also just such a funny name. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The Jazz. <laughs> yeah, why, why did they choose they, they, that? That's like they're the, you know. It's like how Batman picked the uh, yeah the bat as a symbol because it was the thing he was most afraid of. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, like, the what? Utah Jazz. Is like, what do you oh, mean yeah, they're what? improvising? Yeah. <laughs> they're not playing the notes as it's <laughs> playing G chord. Jesus fucking yeah. Christ! What the hell is this stuff? <laughs> what did Jesus say about these jazz? guys do black tar heroin? <laughs> I hate is, this. Is jazz okay in the Lord's eyes? <laughs> I would love to hear Mormon jazz. I need to hear oh, about yeah. it. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Dennis Gets Wall Street. This is. This for picking curbside of delivery. Uh, this is a, a question about the restaurant. Okay, not a problem. What I, is that? Well, really quick, I uh, I want to know who makes that song that you guys were singing before. I, I want to get it on my oh. iPod. iPod Shuffle. Okay. I want to be able oh, to get it on um, that. I do apologize, but I'm not exactly at the restaurant. I'm with the Dennis Phone Ordering Service. But um, if you want to connect directly to the store, I can go ahead and do that for you. Would you like that? Yeah, yeah. I need to get down directly. Okay. Just kindly stand by, okay? And please bear that they're my long hot times. Okay? All right. Thank One you moment. so much. Thank you. A little Utah jazz. <laughs> I love my white wives. <laughs> Getting big in the jazz. I love being married 
it to women that are not of color. Sixteen words. Sixteen words. Red You fucked it up. Jimmy Red Skit. I love skiing with my wife. Skiing on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think in your throat's another octave? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the baritone, baby. Yeah, fuck it. I smoked my way out of jazz. I can't do jazz. <laughs> I, I smoked my way right out of my way out of jazz. <laughs> I had an opportunity and I smoked it up. You're like, Mo, are you it's up in you? smoke. <laughs> Can you play an instrument? I said no. <laughs> I'm a singer. <laughs> My throat's the instrument. Yeah, I just I get this thing real scratched up. Yeah, get a real scratched up. Da dum dum. My throat. Read. My I'm throat's like a reed in my throat. It's like, <laughs> it's like a mirror you find in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's scratched up. Hello, sir. Thank you so much for personal waiting. I do apologize, but I've really been trying to connect you directly to the store, but maybe due to the high volume orders, they're not able to pick it up. People are yelling over there. Suggested, um, Is it because of the sorry? volume? Because they're too loud? Oh, uh, no. Um, it's just... Um, there uh, is no um, available uh, representative on the other line to pick up the call. Okay. That's why I just suggest that you can just try to redial the phone number and kindly press to you will be directly to the store, okay? Uh, well, I had a question. Uh, well, do y'all have uh, uh, discounts if, if you're in the Army Reserves, J-R-O-T-C? Y'all got discounts? Like, okay. I, can I do it? Should I pop in and get a Grand Slam I just apologize, off the strength? But, um, only the uh, store can uh, assist you regarding to that question, but unfortunately, um, they are not able to pick it up as of this moment. All right. And I got one more question for okay. you. Okay. Um, I, uh -huh. I went into the restaurant uh, a couple of days ago, and I'm not, I wasn't snooping around or nothing. But when I walked back there, I did catch a glimpse of the back of the Sorry, kitchen. Sorry, but uh, as what I've mentioned, that I'm not able to answer your questions unless you will be connected directly to the restaurant. I can just place an order for you. All right. Um, I would like to order a bucket of the grease that's in the back of the kitchen. That's what my call was about. I want to understand what they do with the grease after it's the end of the day because they got a big bucket I'm of it. I'm sorry, but um, if you are not ready to place an order, um, I will just go ahead and disconnect this call. I do apologize for this inconvenience, but um, I have never just, been uh, more ready um, to place an order than right now. Um, we don't. Okay, we don't have uh, that I'm ready. grease. That's your time. I'm ready for commitment, big time. How do I get I'm the sorry, but if, how do I get that bucket of grease that they throw away every day in the trash? I'm sorry, the grease is not for sale. Okay. Who do I gotta talk to? Who do I gotta grease up okay. to get some of this grease? But I've mentioned that um I as far as far as um as I wanted to connect it directly to the store and no one's picking up. You can just try to redial the phone number that you have and kindly press to. What's Dennis' okay? number? Okay, I can provide it to you. It's Where's the, what the area code is that, huh? Um, area code. All right. And uh, who am I, am I going to be speaking to Denny? Yes, that is right. That's Denny, the guy, the number one owner of this whole restaurant and everything. Yes, and he's gonna. He needs to kind of have full. Is he gonna number? Is he gonna have full grease authorization? He's gonna be able to hand out the grease. He's gonna be able to say yes. The grease goes here. The grease goes there. They will further assist you regarding your questions. Okay. All right. He's got full grease. Thank you so much for calling, Dennis. Authorization. Can you just repeat that back to me? Full grease authorization. Um, I'm sorry, but since I already provided you the phone number, you can just uh, directly call that and redial, okay? All Thank right. you so much for calling, Dennis. You have a great day. And this is the Danny I'm going to be talking to. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good night. 
Did she say the full government name of Denny of Denny's? I don't know. It was they, like Den- I, I Denison. I thought it said Denny's Goodfellas Street. Yeah, I couldn't hear what she... I thought she said Denison. Exactly. <laughs> yes, Denison freed me. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. I texted you the number. Okay, perfect. Yeah. What was that accent? Was that Minnesota? Dude, I was Maybe. I was mixing between a bunch of different things. I was doing like the East Coast uh, yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, you get yeah. it. But also doing like the, the Southern guy. I kept doing different shit. Yeah. I kept mixing <laughs> back and forth. I noticed that. I, I wondered if that would be a problem. Apparently I'm, not. I was turned. All right. She's like, oh, he's just he's just smoking. <laughs> that's the he's accent eating. it's just smoker it's just, uh, sorry i'm a smoker not, 25 yeah. years not i've been smoking <laughs> your call may be recorded for training and quality purposes it's a beautiful day to black out hi dennis hello it's the phone number ending 0993 is a good number for the order hello I'm lo- I'm looking Hello? to get. I, I was told this is the Denny. Right, is this Denny? Um, no. This is from phone ordering team. This. Uh, my name is. Uh, do you like to speak with one of the store staff there? Well, I got a question for you. I'm looking to make an order. Oh sure, no problem. It's a I big can, order. Uh, definitely help you with that. I would. Oh, uh, sure. And. Uh, I would sit down for this ahead. one. It's gonna be big. Okay. I may have. May I have your first name to and the uh, initial of your last name? Rutherford. My name is Rutherford B. Hayes. And will this be for pickup, curbside, or delivery? I'm just going to come in there and grab it. And um, give me a second. And you're picking it up here at our location in Goodfellow Street, 7 to 6 East. Right? That's the one. That's correct. And... How many receive you what is your order? That's the only Denny's I trust. I've been wronged at many Denny's. Uh-huh. There's only one Denny's that treat uh-huh. me real good. Uh huh. Hello? Yeah, what is your order now? Uh well, let me give you a bit of a background story. Uh, I'm actually banned from several Denny's locations, but the one location that did let me in, uh basically they um they they let me in, and I got—I did get a peek at the uh, the back there in the kitchen, and I saw that there was a man back there scraping grease off off the the the. He had an eye patch, yeah, he, and he and he was scraping grease off the skillet, and all that grease went into a trough, and that trough led to a large bucket full of grease. Uh-huh. I'm sorry to hear that. And his and he had a name that read Darkness. He had a name tag that read Darkness. I don't know if that was his real government name. Be hard to believe that a man could be named Darkness. But but he was a different type of guy. But he essentially he would scrape the grease into the trough. The trough would then fill up and he'd take the trough and pour it into the, the bucket, a bucket full of grease. And I asked his name, and he said, it's Darkness Peters. He might be related to Russell. Might be Russell's uncle. I intend to acquire that grease. I intend to acquire it over the phone right now with you, if you can broker this deal. I would like the bucket that I laid my eyes on, not just any bucket. Give me the grease. Please give it to me. I'm hungry and thirsty, and there's only one thing that's going to suffice, and that's a big old bucket of grease. <laughs> like, we had him for a second, and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> a guy with that eye patch with a name tag that read Darkness. Yeah. <laughs> Darkness Peter. <laughs> His name is Darkness Peters. He collects the grease. I His name is Darkness Darkness Peters. You're kind of doing like a Brad Pitt and Glorious Bastards there. Yeah. And I intend to acquire that grease. I intend to acquire I hung up, but I was I was, I 
I was going to say that you need the grease for your paintball team. <laughs> <laughs> we like get stuck. The balls are getting yeah. stuck. Yeah. The, guard, the paint guard. goes right off you. If My you Tipman is is jammed. <laughs> <laughs> My Tipman 500 is completely jammed. It's busted. Completely jammed. It's dusted, yeah. brother. <laughs> There's only one thing that's gonna be able to clear up. <laughs> I'm trying to this create paintball it's, tip. I'm it, trying and to. It's Denny's <laughs> grease, Grand Slam grease. <laughs> I, I need I that Grand that. Slam grease in my Tipman 500. I tell you what, I I'll, need it. I'll be square with you. I am creating nitroglycerin, and I need <laughs> I need the best grease there is. Telling a Denny, <laughs> just telling a Denny's like, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm straight. Up the bank. I, there's gonna be there's gonna be a big problem. Yeah, there's gonna be a big problem and you will be involved. <laughs> you will be an accomplice. Dude, he was trying to create You want to make history or not? He was trying to create death traps with a Home Depot guy the other day and he said you are like complicit <laughs> if someone gets hurt. This guy did not give a fuck. Yeah. He, he was, was like, letting me. He was telling us how much rat boys did you need to kill someone. Oh yeah. Because I said I wanted to that build so sick. <laughs> we, we were like you are an accomplice and he was like well if you want to pick that stuff up that's fine. <laughs> I worked till seven. I told him him, uh, telling them you're in a <laughs> and he went all right it's so crazy it's like wait like, oh yeah 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 i need exactly all of the ingredients for mustard gas dude it, it's, oh, it's, yeah. it's we it's actually did mention mustard yeah. gas yeah we did we did yeah this guy was we like did. this guy was like igor like yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm ready to be an accomplice but it's just like yeah. it's, it's the salesman <laughs> mindset like it's you just great, get to the zone you don't great. give a fuck about anything besides it's selling true. stuff yeah he was a problem solver that's yeah. it yeah yeah Oh, oh yeah, just a man who's just like all about his fucking job that you gotta respect it. Uh -huh. He was like, really Yeah, you could sharpen this wood it. into steaks and then yeah. put a little trap door. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, yeah, he's just like he's like he's yeah. like inventory right there in the front of his mind. He's like, Yeah, no, we have all yeah. the stuff where you could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Just going I was like to get... Sherlock Mind Palace, <laughs> just like <laughs> he's doing the math. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that run you about one hundred and six sixty seven. Yeah, I'd say eight or nine doses would do it. Uh, <laughs> I'd say so. I think I think you, you should uh, pass the pass the the ox to Sir this? Patrick. Oh Modeling yeah, let me agency? um let me let me give you some backstory here. So I I signed up um a couple maybe two weeks ago I think or a week mm -hmm. ago now. Signed there was an Instagram ad and it just said models wanted. Yes, and I I scrolled up. Mm. Did the swipe up, got a call from um where what is this? Revolution models. Oh, not great name. Here, let me let me play you this voicemail here. Oh, great. Oh. We've never it's a voicemail, voicemail from Michelle. <laughs> so I got I got a text earlier. <laughs> got a text earlier that said like if you don't call or or answer us, your modeling application will be deleted. Mm -hmm. It's a model, the application under the name Patrick the Celebrity, two wise. <laughs> I am a 15 year old model. Yes. And oh, it's hold up. Did it you have? Did playing. you have to make like uh, like uh, here? I have a screen recording like of a it. Photoshop Turn or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let to me make let me yourself young. Let me show you the uh, the You're photo not... I used here. Yeah, we can pull that up. Yeah. <laughs> it's me <laughs> in a, like a Christmas situation. You're looking good. <laughs> You're looking quite good. I have a screen recording of the uh, the video that I sent David. I, I can't get the voicemail open right now, which may be a problem. But, uh, yeah, let me just show you this here. Now, this is... Maybe you can read it out to us. Oh, yeah. Hello, this is... I was calling with Revolution Models. I have Patrick's modeling application. <laughs> we love his look, and we want to invite you guys to the studio. I do need a parent to give me a call. I did send an e uh, an invite to your email. Okay. I'll be yeah, your so dad. This is, uh, if you need your dad, I'll be your dad. Yeah, I guess I Or guess you I could can... be your own dad. Yeah. Maybe I should be my own dad. Yeah, yeah you, you could be, be your own dad for once, Patrick. Yeah, true. Okay. <laughs> yeah, come on. You What's the problem him. with this generation? You don't need him anymore. No one's being their own dad. No one's killing their dad by oh, accident. Wait, <laughs> fucking their mom. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. We have, to return problem. To, we have to return to tradition. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The way it was. The good old days. What happened to Oedipus? He became king. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Successful. Say what you will. <laughs> About his method. <laughs> I turn it up in the phone like that. Good afternoon, you've reached 
Studio One Revolution models. Please leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that really sounded like just how she picks I up know. the phone. I know. That's exactly what the voicemail sounds your number, like. We'll bleep it out unless yeah. you want to do that. It, it, I don't way. know because I, I Cause just like. Because connected to your. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. just had to. I'm using the Google Voice, but I just had to like call through my own number. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah. I thought could, was going to be on that. We yeah. could call a different model. We uh, could. We could agency. find. We could find a modeling yeah. agency here. <laughs> we love his look. It's so good. <laughs> we love his look. <laughs> I got I got like an email too that they were saying like uh it was like your modeling application is but the email is the craziest thing because it's like <laughs> it's like fifteen pages of instructions whoa where oh. they're like oh you gotta like you, you gotta, gotta fly you down to, to our studio the camera yeah <laughs> <laughs> listen up little boy I don't know yeah. what your life's you been like so far old boy. <laughs> it's time to man up <laughs> wow what mo I think models you could, com. I think you could pretend that they reached out to you and they'd believe it. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, totally. they all probably do the same thing. They all probably are creepy and texting people. And That's true. There are a lot of like acting stories like that. Like Shia LaBeouf pretended to be his own agent when he was like a kid. Really? To get like even Stevens or something. Oh my God. There's lots of trickery we have here. Yeah. IMG, maybe. Nope. This is just a list of models that they are. <laughs> <laughs> Not seeing any phone numbers here. Friend There's a Utah. I was I was so ready to get on the horn. That's all right. We can get a type woman. Type. Yeah. Type. <laughs> lay, type lady. Type. Let's do uh, a modeling. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Child's modeling. Yeah. Let's okay. see. Let's see what we can get. That's so funny that crank anchors were like, it's all domestic out of Utah. <laughs> That's wild. Damn. You let me down today. Yeah. Look, this is yeah. She you're missing out. Like <laughs> you're missing out <laughs> on an an incredible well, young man. Okay. My incredible son. <laughs> my incredible son should have been a, a. He should be on the the side of a milk carton, but not <laughs> missing. <laughs> not right, as a you, model. Do you want Do you want to leave a voicemail as the dad? That's Maybe. pretty funny. Yeah, that's All funny. Right. I got one. This is Urban Modeling Agency. Urban Modeling Agency. In, uh, okay. Urban Talent Management in. Uh, Okay. Actually, not in. It's a, it's wherever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bleep it out. Thank you for calling Urban Talent. This is. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm all right. I think uh, I got an email from you earlier about my son. Um, that is a good question. Can you give me a little more insight as to maybe what the email stated or? Um, it said that we've received his modeling application and he's ready to be a superstar. Is this from you? Is this? Um, if it's underneath urban talent, uh, yes, it would be from us. It just depends if it came from me. I don't typically send out those type of emails. Um, I usually more of like a directional purpose where uh, if I get any inquiries, I actually send them to our uh, management team and they're able to go on with the process of like meeting with the person and uh, coming in and meeting with the director. Okay. And this is all, this is all my, this is all for my son. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it just depends on if you filled out an application for him or if he filled one out and he was just getting the email back saying, see, hey, we got the application. I, see, I don't know the like the creative process for like photographing my son. I, I'm just trying to because I got I'm getting all these emails. And they're they're all they're all about my son becoming a, a superstar. Not a problem. What's your son's name? Patrick. Um, and what's the last name? Edmund. Edmund. Okay. Let me. He's very short. Is that like going to be a problem? I know models um, are supposed to be around six, like five, nine for women, like six feet tall around there for guys. Um, what? It depends on what uh, category or like what industry that you're in um, within the industry. So if you're following LA and New York models, then yes, a lot of them have those uh, height restrictions um, because they're high fashion. 
where okay. we're located and based in Utah. So he could get in some get short guy magazines more. or something, or he's like we one of these do. little sickly looking kids. We have a little bit more flexibility when it comes to height. Um, it really depends on, again, just getting that physical look and measurements on him mm -hmm. as to what categories he would fit in. Utah is more commercial based, which is actually where the money's at. If you want to make uh, a decent amount of money in the modeling and film industry. Okay. Um, so we get a little bit more variety. I believe yeah, he's a real the, short kid. We could get him like in an Ewok costume or something. Ewok. Um, you, can you tell me just how tall he is? It's probably around like five feet flat. Five. Okay. Um, let me double 15 check years on. old. 15. Okay. What so kind of commercials are we talking about? Like the, uh, like maybe for like basketball or something. Like maybe he's like turns into, he's like short. Maybe we could get him into like a commercial where he gets real tall. Um, where he's 15, he still has a lot of potential. Okay. Um, where it would come with that, again, just with us being commercially based, um, because we're able to pull, pull more from that. Um, it would really just start with, getting into that first appointment to have him come in and meet with a director and they would kind of go from there with what options and opportunities he would have. Huh? Okay. So he, he, he's, he's real. He's just real ready to be a superstar. I think, I mean, he doesn't know I'm calling, uh, it, it, what if he gets that surgery where they like break your legs to make them taller? Do, do y'all pay for that or? Um, unfortunately we don't, that's not something that we would, uh, in, help pay for. Oh, okay. Um, that's more of an yeah, insurance we, question, isn't it? What, what's the perfect it, it height for goes a, underneath that? Okay. What's the perfect height for a model? Perfect is a hard word to have, um, because unique is really what it's all about. What we like to pull from potential models or our talent is the uniqueness as well as the natural. Oh, he's tr he's trust uh, trust me, he's unique. Yes, the unique and natural is kind of what we go for, mm -hmm. and that's our baseline. So we do ask like a lot of our women to have no acrylic nails. We don't like fake eyelashes, and we really try to um, express that like the the more natural you are. Uh, the better it is for the booking process. Okay, so I got to remove those fake eyelashes. So where the the I'm I'm mostly I'm trying to like how much is the baseline pay for his uh like what what would like what's the most money I'm talking like m, m o n e y money like I'm just trying to get I I just want to know how uh how much I could be making. It really just depends on what type of commercials or uh, print that you are booking. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes down to it, we've had some, you know, some really big paychecks that do come through depending on what producer is doing it or what director and where they're coming from. But on uh, average, it's typically a half day is about 400 and a full day is about 800. Again, okay, yeah, I'll throw them in whatever situation gets us paid, through. honestly. He's got a, he's got, probably, he's got a club foot too. I don't like, uh, you know, you're talking unique. He's definitely unique in that regard. Okay. Um, yeah, with with the club foot, that would maybe depend on the severity. Uh, mm -hmm. I know a couple of people who do have one, but you would not notice until, like, you know, they take off their shoe or um, just depending on that. It, again, would have to be something that we'd have to probably see in person to help uh, determine if it would be something that would be beneficial for him or something that would um, kind of be more of like a dead end for him. So it's like feet, like shoe modeling's like out of the question, right? With a club foot. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like, you know, yeah. Cause he, he's looking like the, it's like a penguin's foot pretty much. It's like a, that's an interesting way of describing. Yeah, I, um, I, I yeah. mean, it's like the only like reference I do have for looking at it. He's my stepson too. I I should have mentioned that before. Okay, um, with the the stepson coming into play, we would have to have a legal guardian, especially where he is under the age of eighteen. Oh, oh, all right, yeah. I guess that makes sense. He's also John. He's John is like a Simpson. But it keeps him skinny. I'm sorry, say that again. 
He's completely jaundiced. Jaundiced? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, again, just depending on what route you want to take and what he wants to take, um, we would be able to open up some availability. If you want to start with sending photos over, you can send that okay. over to our scouting director. Um, the email is... From there, we will look over the photos and just see if there are uh, opportunities for him. Okay. If and I if I send a photo, do I if can I like photo like you Photoshop them to make them look like like normal? The more natural, the better. Uh -huh. So preferably no Photoshop. Ah, okay. Is there like a modeling school I could ship them off? Like a boarding modeling school? Like do you, do you, so basically what I, like. I just really need to get him into this business. And I'm wondering if there's like a modeling school or board, like something kind of thing. He'll wear, he'll wear pretty much anything too. But yeah, I just send the photos over. Yeah. Let's start with that and see if there's opportunity and if it fits our agency. Okay. Um, otherwise we might have a, a couple more opportunities and options that uh, feel free. You would be able to reach out to as well. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, and again, it's just, and I'll be looking forward to seeing them. All right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, sir. I didn't catch your name. What was your name? My name is also Patrick. Patrick. Okay. Perfect. Patrick. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll be waiting for those and I hope you have a good weekend. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> what a wretched fucking industry, dude! Oh my god! I want you to like, get her really, to be like, and you sexualize these kids, yeah, correct? I, like, dude, well, I, I, I couldn't fucking, I couldn't say. I would break immediately. I had to keep like, you were showing me them. And I was just like, how how early is the sexualization process? And I was like, it's like, god damn it, dude! <laughs> We've started a little term for me that I'm sort of the dark prince of this podcast. I, I feed people really insane stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, but man. it works more than you think. Yeah. Like saying wild shit. People like just the club go with foot them. thing. She was like fully. We do on have board. one model yeah. with a club foot. Yeah. Who kills She's like, I know people with a club. Like what the fuck? Tyra yeah. Banks actually has a club foot. Not yeah. a lot of people know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, how did you find that? You just looked up and that was the first one that showed up. Yeah. Yeah. When I typed <laughs> that was, I was really lucky. Yeah. It was Modeling agency. Oh that. my god, uh, that is so insane! Like there, there's so many modeling scams like this now. That is yeah, so insane. Totally, because people are just so desperate. Yeah, I so guess it makes sense. People have dreams and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're they're and like they just... there are parents that are way more insane than your hypothetical. Oh situation. yeah, 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 yeah. I saw yeah. a be documentary on like child actors one time, and it, it is these parents are like like they should be like killed. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> like, for like what oh. they like put their children through. They're like telling like their kids that they're like their like family dog died, so they, like they cry for this like shitty Jesus. one little what scene of like, of like CSI, some shitty daytime wow. TV show. That's bad. And then afterwards they're like no. Scout's fine, and then like you could just see it in the kids' right? face. There's just like, the, what is real? I don't even know. Right? Anymore. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just turning kids into like sociopaths. Jesus what is that? There's Christ. a episode yeah. of the rehearsal where the guy thinks Nathan's <laughs> his dad. <laughs> yeah. The kid thinks oh, he's his yeah. dad. Broke. That was so hard to watch. That oh, was this. just oh, bro. Man, that fucking that call was insane. That I like. It, it was just yeah, like what you were talking about earlier with the salesman mindset. There, it's they were very, trying to keep very me similar. Oh my god, just keeping me on the fucking hook the whole time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think it's literally because yeah. you said I keep getting these emails say he's gonna be a big star, and then she like perked up. You know, yeah. it's like when you like name drop someone, and, and then someone just immediately changes their like entire like physicality oh. towards you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My son, Patrick Edmund. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to die if there was a Patrick Edmund. Already. Right. Oh, the, yeah. The there system. is somebody yeah. in the system already. I we, really wanted you to get to like. Club like, foot I don't like wanna... a penguin is. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so no. fucked. What I, what I said, what I typed was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like I was saying. Like, I was going to say, I was going to start saying like, <laughs> yeah, think like Danny DeVito in Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Batman Returns. What his foot might look like. Yeah. <laughs> Picture that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's oh, 12 yeah. hours of prosthetics. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to call a, a boxing gym. Oh, okay. Portland City Boxing. Hey, uh, how you doing? Um, I was just uh, uh, calling about, uh, I, I'll i be honest with you, I'm looking to do a, a class, one of your fighting classes. I need to get strong, and I need to get strong fast. 
Yeah, what's the what's the goal behind getting strong? Uh, well, I mean, I I didn't want to get into this so early in the call, but uh, essentially, uh, yeah, it's um, it's kind of I I kind of gotta get even with somebody. I see. I yeah. see. Okay. Um, are you looking to compete or? It's my nephew. Gotcha. You know, we used to do kind of family wrestling and pff, this kid, he, he grew up fast and, uh, I, I'm kind of embarrassed to even say it, but you know, my new year's resolution was to, you know, live a more honest lifestyle. So I'll just tell you, uh, he kind of did like a helicopter slam on me at a family barbecue a few months back and I've been looking to get even. Gotcha. So it's, uh, a uh, wrestling match or what what exactly are we i mean it's kind of like prison fights with this guy i mean he like he he just got his baby he's got his, his baby teeth out his adult teeth in he's biting me with his adult teeth now and it's just getting crazy and you know by thanksgiving i want to be a machine okay and uh how old how old and big is your nephew uh old enough to to really do some some damage i think he just turned 17 in march Oh, okay, okay. Um, so awesome, man. He'll be of legal, legal age when when we when we fight again. Yeah. Okay. Um, perfect. So you want to get into boxing? Yeah. What what kind of combats do you have over there? Uh, we have boxing. We have kickboxing. Right. And uh, yeah, that's 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 pretty much it in terms of like the martial arts. We don't do any jujitsu. It's just focus on the striking. Okay, so let me give you some stats here. He's 4'8", and he is 450 pounds. Interesting. 4'8", and how big? How heavy? 450 pounds. And he's an animal. He's a machine. He's built like a lineman. Gotcha. What, what was your name again? Oh, I don't think I said it. I'm Steve. Okay, Steve. Well, what's your last name? Uh, Rogers. Steve Rogers. Mm. Okay. So, you know, I, I know that like, you know, in our fights, it's not really a specific kind of uh, martial art, uh, but I, I think actually boxing and kickboxing would be a good uh, angle because, you know, uh, you know, once it's in a wrestling situation, I'm kind of toast. Like I said, 450. I mean, I'm, I'm more of a lean guy, but if I can, if I can keep him, you know, at arm's length, you know, with kicks and kind of, you know, hammer punches, then I might have a, a, you know, a shot in hell, if you understand what I'm saying. Right. How tall are you? Yeah, I'm about 5'7 uh, on a good day. 5'7. Okay. So, yeah, you got a foot on him, huh? Yeah, his name's Daniel Tosh. No relation. Daniel Tosh. Okay. Yeah. 17 years old. 18, 18, once we, once we, uh, get in quote unquote, the ring, you know, my backyard, uh, this Thanksgiving. Okay. How'd you hear about us? Uh, actually a friend recommended, uh, he said he'd been taking some classes over there and it's been good for his, uh, anger problems. And, uh, I was like, well, you know, not necessarily, uh, you know, mental on my end, more physical, but I got my problems of my own and I'd like to iron them out, uh, you know, in the, in the arena. Okay, who's who's your friend? Uh, I think I think it was Reggie. Yeah, it's just some guy. I he's a regular at a bar in downtown. Reggie, huh? Yeah. You don't remember his last name? No, no, he's just a bar buddy. You know, like I don't, I don't really like know his his deal. We just kind of get fucked up together, like every like Tuesday or something. Watch Jeopardy and get kind of drunk. Gotcha. Okay. Um. So first things first, I need you to get on the waiver. Um, have you gone to our website yet? Uh, no, I, uh, I don't, I don't actually own a computer if I'm being honest. Okay. I can, uh, I'll, I can book, book you in here. And then what times are you typically available? Is it mornings, evenings, or afternoons? Well, what, I mean, what do you think for, uh, my, my schedule is pretty free these days. Uh, but you know, in terms of uh, getting peak, peak revenge workouts, what, what time do you think would work best? Uh, good conditioning class would, uh, help you out, man. Okay. So I think in the uh, morning, then? any of the any of the five thirty p.m. classes would be really good mm, for you. That's where you get the the working class rage out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it sounds. Good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. After work, everybody comes in and they get a good workout, man. It's a good time. 
Yeah, I kind of said some things about Stephen Paddock, and I'm not allowed to use the computer anymore. Whatever, it's a long story. But uh, I appreciate you doing the uh, the website stuff for me. I'm not too good with. I'm not too technically, uh, uh, you know, literate. And I I, dr- I drank a. That's I, all right, Dan. I drank um, a ton of milk today. Are you free tonight? You can come in tonight at five thirty. Uh, I don't know if I could swing it tonight. Uh, but okay. what, what, what's what's the class tonight? Uh, five thirty boxing conditioning. But just regular boxing conditioning, kind of like quick, quick feet around the around the ring type deal. Okay, cool. All right, I'll I'll, I'll try my best. I'll try my best to make it. Okay. Um, you want me to put you down, or do you you want to play it by ear? What's how we? I, uh... I I think we should play it by ear. I I don't really know where the moon is at these days, and that that's kind of important to my blood flow. Gotcha. Okay. Um, all right, man. Well, yeah, just make sure you have, uh, your ID on you when you come in and then, uh, okay. that way we can speed things up a lot quicker and, gotcha. uh, get you in the class as soon as possible. And, and tell me the truth. Do you think I can defeat my nephew this Thanksgiving with, with your guidance? I, I, I don't know what that means. Uh, exactly. What do you mean by that? I mean, he's a big guy and I want to take him down. Do you think I can do it? Do you believe in me? You, man. Yep, I I do. You do? do. If you were a gambling man, you you you'd go against the Vegas odds. The Vegas odds being my my extended family, they think I got no shot in hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think you'd be able to pull it off. Yeah, I don't want to like kill him or nothing. I just want to you know dominate him in front of the family. Anyway, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting. Old, this is- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just real embarrassed about the whole thing. I'm sorry. Let me, let me, let me reel that back. I'm sorry. But so you think conditioning is the first step to getting fight ready? Yeah, uh, okay. absolutely, man. Okay. Cause yeah, you see the Paul yeah, brothers, so they get, uh, they get, they get tired here. after like three rounds. You can tell that they're on YouTube too much. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so let's so you, you saw that here, fight man. against Tommy Fury? Tis disc. <laughs> I didn't watch it yet. He just he just got tired, you know. He's too busy on social media, and you know you know these kids on the TikToks. But my right, my son, yeah. he's he's on those TikToks, and he is he is he is strong. My my nephew. And, awesome, yeah. Hey, uh, Steve, we're getting another phone call, man. But uh, okay. fill out that waiver for you, for me, and then uh, bring your ID, and we'll get things going for you. All right? all right, and let's say it together. My nephew is toast on three. One, two, three. My nephew is toast. The whole thing. I don't know. You got to be a little. Your nephew is toast. All right. My nephew is toast. Uh, Thank you. All right. That's right. All wait, right. wait. What? What is your right. name? Uh, my name is. Thank you. Okay. One on the th- on right. three. Ne- my nephew. Your my nephew is toast. One, two, three. My nephew is your toast. Your nephew is toast. Okay. All, All right. right. I gotta go. Let's I'm do sorry. this. Right. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh my God. man. <laughs> he was down for. <laughs> Was dude, a fight guys, beast, fight guys dude. are crazy, dude. Yeah, Bo- any guy who has boxed in his life has like a couple screws yeah. fucking loose. Oh yeah, he was just excited to get that call. Honestly, that's yeah. God damn, dude. I don't want to kill him or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he said he's seventeen. <laughs> I knew if I went too young, he'd be like, "You cannot yeah, fight this right, child." Right. What did he fucking? You said like. uh <laughs> I don't know how the moon is affecting my blood. <laughs> but dude, Jim like, got <laughs> implying, implying very subtly, like, yes, I am a werewolf. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's actually, I got that from like, like astrology girls say that oh, sometimes. Yeah. That like, you know, because it affects like the ocean I, tides. My brain did not go <laughs> to astrology girl at all. I immediately, I immediately went werewolf. Yeah, yeah. yeah full moon. I don't like oh, to find the full man. moon. Yeah. <laughs> Well, depending on the whole well, time. depending on where the moon's at. Yeah, <laughs> then maybe I'll do it. I was glad I could like change like potential laughter into like like sadness or something. Yeah. Like I was like embarrassed. That was I almost laughed really hard. On I feel like four hundred and eighty. I feel like eighty. How heavy did four, you say? Four foot eight. We got a call bowling back. ball of fucking chaos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to call it's back. It's all muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Four eight is such a funny idea. I really wanted you to bring up. Uh, do you do you ever watch the and one basketball? Oh you ever yeah. Watch that? yeah, yeah, with, yeah, yeah. With Escalade, dude. I, it was just it was it was, <laughs> it was your note was too much for me to process. It was yeah. too long. I've been I actually too do long. know. I've seen those videos. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. so many. They there's so sick. many notes that like you guys will like show that are. It's just like. <laughs> 
It's too well, crazy. I'm gonna, no, I'm just going to break immediately if I say that. <laughs> right. God damn, dude! You want to put it's, my my young son in a speedo or what? Yeah, yeah, it's the best. You put him in speedos, lingerie. <laughs> yeah, he is jaundice, by the way. If that yeah. affects it, he's like yellow a like a Simpson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's oh, yellow dude. like a Simpson. Oh man, we gotta call back as the nephew. I think. I think that's what we gotta do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my uncle Spin. <laughs> oh, you, you would be. You, know, you, you, know, you, you should, you should wait. I'll like, text you guys. You should wait number. like two weeks to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you call Hello? back. You call back. Just have all the same Did notes. My bitch ass uncle just called. Hey, yeah. if, if, I think it would be pretty funny tonight. <laughs> yeah. I think. Should we call him back? I could text you guys the number. All right, send it to him. It's definitely this one. I'll, I'll DM you. Do, do. Yeah. <laughs> Where is this? Where is this? Gym? Surprise me. It's a it's a boxing gym. Uh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. 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 <laughs> Uh yeah, it's uh you know oh look it's like suggested messages. Oh yeah, I, I put those. Oh, okay, <laughs> I thought that was just like those are if you have like Instagram the business does. account. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh wait, I should. Text How are we at on time? We only have to. Oh, we got a couple minutes. No, we're fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got a couple. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. I thought because we um we've been doing a lot of YouTube stuff and it's so funny like there's like AI generated YouTube titles now. Yeah. And they're just like black voice. Yeah. Like you, you write like prank calls. Like the library is like, "Yo, dead ass books be pranked," <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "It's telling you that that will get more hits." <laughs> Damn, pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> oh, and this is the gym. You're calling the gym right now. Yeah, I think you got it as the nephew. <laughs> really, I think you got that. All right, yeah. I kind of think Patrick should do it. No, I can't. I can't be the nephew on this one. What? <laughs> why not? <laughs> yeah, why not, bro? I have too grisly of a voice. I but think. that, but he's thick. He's a yeah. thick nephew. What's up? I'm the thick nephew. Hey, my uncle. I mean, Steve, this guy knows. Steve and the Steve. Yeah, no, Steve. I think he knows that it's he a. Knows, he knows I, that we're fucking with him, which is the thing. I think it's all right. Yeah. I just love I'm fucking dude, Michael. What a fucking trooper that guy was. He really was. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My fucking hello, uncle it's me. You. Yeah, my uncle. There, yeah. Let me, <laughs> there let me, let me get, see. Let me all right. Get I knew you. I knew you had a, a nephew voice in you. <laughs> hello. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll, that's I'll try. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. All right. We're going for seventeen year old. Steve. Steve. Uncle's name is Steve. And my, what's my Steve name? Rogers? I'd say that. Daniel Tosh. Paul City Boxing. This is Chris. Hello. Is this a boxing gym? Yeah. How can I help you? I'm looking to take classes. I got a violent uncle. Is this the same guy? What? Yeah, how can I help you? I'm looking to sign up for classes. I'm a thick nephew. Okay. I'm one of those thick nephews that like um likes to fight. I like to make fun of my dumb uncle. He's a, okay, who is, who is this? Who's he, Frank calling He's here? old, but he's a dummy. All right, man. I got to let you go. I got to get back to work, man. But I got to beat up my uncle for Thanksgiving. Yeah. They, they called me the wrecking ball. Who, who is this? Who is this? You know Do Miley you? Cyrus? I'm 17, so I like Miley Cyrus. All right. Well, I gotta get going. So, did I'll you ever you watch before you leave? All right. Did bye. you ever watch the N one mixtapes? <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew he would know. Yeah, I yeah, knew yeah, he would know. Yeah, yeah. You guys got to lean into it at that yeah. point. Yeah, because it is too obvious. But right. See, that's All why right. I told you you should call in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Two wanna... weeks, same exact details of the story. Like, hi, my name is Daniel Tosh. <laughs> Hello, two weeks I'm is five good. Oh, foot, Daniel Tosh. Yeah, that's I'm, right. I'm four foot eight. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, right, I'm going to get in two weeks. I'm going to quickly call an insurance company really fast. Okay. Providence Health Center, time I just to call. Hey, uh, is this an insurance company? Yes, sir. All right, wonderful. I had a question about some of your coverage, and I'm uh, before I say anything else, I, I will say I'm, I'm asking for a friend. Okay. I think okay, you just got so a text message. Current number or not? 
You might want to check that text. But it's uh, uh, no, he's he's not. He's thinking about becoming a member. He's on the fence. Gotcha. Um, he's wondering about okay. a very specific so, type of coverage and whether or not uh, do y'all insure these hands? Let me get you guys over to the sales department. They will be able to answer any questions about any of the plans. Okay, that'd Just be wonderful. Second. Get me in touch. Thank you for calling Providence Individual and Family Plan Sales. My name is a licensed health plan representative. Would you like to enroll in a plan today? Uh, well, I would love to. I'm actually calling uh, for a, fr- a friend of mine. I'm his guardian. And uh, just real quick, what was that song that y'all had playing j- just before this? I-, I-, I did like it a lot. I'd like to add it to my iPod shuffle. Oh, you know, I'm not actually... I'm not actually sure, but I can try and find that information for it you. It sounded like royalty-free like. jazz. <laughs> you know, it might be. <laughs> well, uh, I-, I appreciate your laughing, but um, I'm serious. I do need that song if I'm going to get through the rest of the week. Uh, you know what? I will do my best to try and figure that out for you, but I make no promises. I run the uh, the Reddit group r slash royalty free jazz. I'm the moderator on that group, that subreddit. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's well, it's got me a lot. It's kind of gone to my head. The power has a little bit. That's why. That's why I'm asking about it because uh, nobody else. I want to get a jazz song that no one else can use. I want to be the full owner of a jazz song, a powerful jazz song that nobody else can use but me. Hey, you know, everyone's got goals. That sounds like a good one to me. That's what I'm saying, sister. Now, uh, regarding y'all's coverage, this is health insurance, right? This ain't for your auto or your home or your basement or whatever the heck. Correct. It is health insurance, yes. Thank God. And it's been, I think, do y'all cover bites, like different types of bites from from an animal? Uh, As far as I know, yeah. My large nephew had bit me. Oh no! And he don't he don't really brush. That sounds absolutely horrible. He don't really brush his teeth. He's more of them one of them non brushers. He's abstinent when it comes to Colgate. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! He's a demon. That's his name. Demon. Now, I had a question. My so my nephew he's going to. Uh, He's been playing uh, Demon in the Woods. Is is that a jazz song? I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure. that He keeps saying it. He keeps mumbling it. He walks about the house mumbling Demon in the Woods, Demon in the Woods. I'm not sure what it means, but he's he's trying to get health insurance. And I, as I said, he's not brushing his teeth. And then he'll bite me because I'm not, I'm not feeding him what he wants. He wants grease. So, uh, you know, that is, as a kid say, a mood, it's just a mood, you know, it's the teens, you know, it's the, my, my nephew, my nephew, it's, he's in the teens right now. You know, it's the terrible twos, but then it's the terrible teens. I think you can, I think you can understand that. Absolutely. You get it. And, uh, he, well, oh, he okay. has, he's. He's sort of got digestive issues. He ate a Spalding basketball. He got digestive issues or an iron stomach? Well, I mean, the boy could take down pretty much anything. We call him the trash compactor. Now, some people would pay for that. Well, ah, yes. we try to get him to the carnival. They were full up. Apparently, that ain't even a special skill. Well, that's a shame. Well, it's a da- yeah, it's a damn shame because I said this boy's got one talent and it's eating rubber basketballs. Yeah, the, he turned up at the carnival and they flipped him. Oh, flipped him like a, a pancake. Probably would have done real well too. So when he uh. got when he got shoot out of the carnival for being too much of a freak, what happened was uh, they flipped him right side up, and now we're trying to get him on the on the side of the Lord. And so what we've done is we've um, yeah, we've registered him into a rabbinical school to become a rabbi. 
I don't know if I don't know if you're familiar. I was talking to some All people right. and they and they said, "What the heck is a rabbinical school?" And I had to I had to sort of school them on that. Uh, but um, essentially, what's going on is that we're getting him into rabbinical school. He started, and um, we're wondering if we can get retroactive coverage because he uh, he brisked himself. Okay. So is that something y'all cover? In addition to the basketballs and the, and the bites, can we get two person coverage? You know, on um, father son coverage. On on that one, father son coverage. Yeah, something like very that. Very likely on that one. That would be a family plan, of course. Okay, um, we're not we're not but related. I'm not sure if if. It's sort of like All when, right, when well, let's I come around and you know, you know, when it's like when you're young and, and your parents call someone your uncle, but it's not really that. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of uncles in my life. Let me tell you. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I'm one of those random uncles that just actually ain't blood related. It is more just around. I'm his God. I'm his God uncle. Uh, oh, well, let me change that. I'm his, oh, there you go. I'm his Yahweh father. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm looking That's for sort of an insurance, an insurance twofer for Topher, my nephew, a uh, Topher. Topher Grace is his middle name. If you need that. All right. No relation to. Uh, well, that. let's see what we can do. We named him Grace because we knew that but, by you know, the grace the of God thing- he would become a rabbi. And he did. Yeah, if you knew that early, then he, that was probably pretty good. He did a DIY bris to to in in order to get like uh, like to oh, skip. Dear. You know how when you go up in a grade in school, like you show such promise in math that they say just send him to college. That's what he was trying to do with rabbinical school. You ever see Stranger Things? You know, I actually missed out on that. Well, it's a great show. I mean, it's too scary for me, but Topher loves to watch it. I just, I, I, I wish that, I wish that he's like one of those Stranger Things creatures. I feel like, because I've seen flashes of it, and I get so scared. I see him swallow basketball. I say, Topher, Topher, chill out. Topher the Gopher, we call him. God, he's putting them all down. Well. I'm watching golf Good TV, golf. right? What's that? You ever, you ever seen golf TV? It's a lot different than Stranger Things. No, but sir, the no, same I'm amount not. of gators. That's the best part of a golf, though, isn't it? When the, when a man gets pulled down, when a coastal elite gets pulled down into the mud, some things never change. All right. Well, let me, uh, how about your zip code? Can I uh, have your zip code so I can help look up some plans here? Yeah, no problem. 66. Oh. Did you get that? I, I got 66. Oh, that's correct. All right. Let's see what I so got. So do y'all have non-related uncle, nephew, godfather, godson type of plans where we could get kind of coverage together? He bites me. I bite him. We're all good to go. Everybody can get a get a shot of tetanus or whatever. You know, I'm not exactly sure we got those plans here. I'm talking serious black type insurance plans. Harry Potter. My my nephew does have a similar scar on his forehead. But he always goes, it's a knife. I want to see my nephew become a superstar. And I understand that y'all are agents. I'm just health insurance agents. I don't know I'm going to get him that far. 
okay, but y'all don't, y'all aren't like just sort of general agents that can kind of do whatever. Unfortunately, no. The face scar that he has is in the shape of a hoof. Is that how you, is it hoof or hoof? I'm always, always confused by that language in, in English and all that. Is it hoof or ho- is it if it's multiple hoofs? If it's multiple, it's hooves. If it's multiple. And on Christmas, I hear hoofs on the roofs. Is that something? You ever watch The Good Wife? You ever watch that show? No, sir. I always watch it to fall asleep, but it just gets me more riled up. It's fascinating how she's so, she's so like a lawyer, but also a mom. That seems like a reasonable job. I, oh, it's very reasonable, but she's just got so much drama in her life. What is health insurance anyway? What, what, what does it mean? Well, you're running me through my paces today, aren't you, sir? I'm doing my best. I'm trying to get this. Uh, well, I got to go see. Uh, is there any? I'm trying to learn about health insurance, but I do. I do have uh, uh, one of them diseases where you can't learn too good. So what what kind of movies can I watch where I'll learn everything I need to know about health insurance? I have aphasia. I'm and not and sure I also it's going to be a movie that's going to teach you too much. I also have hip dysplasia. Like one of them dogs that shouldn't be existing. Like a French bulldog or whatever. And synesthesia, I can hear farts. Shallow how? That's quite a talent. Thank you, I appreciate it. I can see farts. That's what I meant to say. I've synesthesia. I can see farts when, when they leave a, a man's body. And uh, Shallow Hal, have you ever seen it? It's kind of like that. It's kind of like Shallow Hal. You know, I actually have seen that movie. You have seen it? What'd you think of it? What'd you think of the ending? Sort of a Shyamalan twist. Well, it was a very long time ago. <laughs> it was kind of a twist, wasn't it? When all of a sudden he popped up. My nephew's telling me to wrap it up. It's a haluminal twist. <laughs> are y'all Sorry, hiring? Sir, if you're not sure, if a, are y'all hiring agents? Because I feel like I could be an agent. Moment, do y'all know? Do you have anybody working at your at your establishment named Cody Banks? Y'all got anybody? Any agents named Cody Banks? It's like, he's like men in black, but you he's know, Malcolm I, in the middle. I'm not exactly sure that we do. So. God, that'd be great. Maybe I'll legally change my name and then apply to your company. Uh, when do you get off? Well, sir, not for a while yet, but. Uh, what, what time are you thinking? Oh, probably a few hours from now. All right, I'm going to put my nephew to bed. Probably head over there. Uh, do you like Arby's? I do love Arby's. They However, got, sir, uh, they're if delicious. there's nothing that I can do to help you, then I... They have an au jus sauce that's real good. I think that's how you say that. Au jus That would be the French dip, yep. Right, that's right. French dips much easier than au jus. Here's a fun fact that I can eat an Arby sandwich in under a minute. And that's I'm including not sure that's good for your health. That's including wiping my face. And I'll be there soon. I'm bringing Arby's. You ready for that? I don't know that I am, sir. It's curly fry time. I'm about to. I'm about to stink up that office. 
<laughs> I'm about to stank it right up. You never seen so much horseradish. With Arby's. It's Arby time. All right, sir. Well, you enjoy your Arby's. I'm going to tell you one quick story. I went to an Arby's one time and I ordered the gyro, you know, the Greek pita. And then I've just put lizard meat in it instead. And they said, that's a good idea. It was sort of a DIY Arby's type of sitch. Meat swap. Well, I've been that trying to get like that a good time to me. Personally. I've been trying to get that hashtag going on uh, on Craigslist. Hashtag meat swap. Meat swap Mondays. Lizard and gizzard. My nephew put a basketball inside of a gyro and ate it. If it's I rubber, that's get something seen about that. Well, that's why I'm trying to come to you and get some insurance. Arby's, we have the meat swaps. And we have the meat sweats. Am I right? God damn, I'm burning up in here. <laughs> that lizard didn't treat me too good. What's your personal phone number? Well, at the moment, I'm just trying to help you with the health insurance. This Arby's has me dancing on the ceiling. Y'all cover that if I fall. I'm trying to eat a whole iguana. All right. Well, it seems like uh, I pretty much got uh, insurance. So I'm going to have to let you go. But I'm trying to throat some croc. My, I bet my nephew could eat a croc sandal if I if I told him to. I bet he could eat one. I would. And that's on Highly God. advise against that. Eating a croc sandal. Now, do y'all cover that or no? I'm not sure that's a that's a specific part of that. However, um. And one follow up question. It seems that. Uh, mm-hmm. What's your? I'm well, number one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> she was on the line oh. for so fucking long. Oh, you got to call oh. in the middle of that. Oh, someone called me and I panicked. Oh no! Someone called me. <laughs> no, no, I just hung up. Uh, uh, because I didn't know what to do. Oh man! Uh, Shit! She's a great lady. Oh yeah. Well, that has been another episode of the S and D podcast. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Patrick, tell them tell them where they can find you. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, just look up podcast about list. It's around. It's <laughs> around. You have to you use to quotes that. to find it, but <laughs> yeah. you know that it's SEO. It. That's <laughs> Our, ours. Ours that's is right. so bad too. Ours yeah. is like people misspelling D and D or yeah. misspelling yeah. and I didn't yeah. think about that at all. I yeah. fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you guys for having me on those. Dude, it was great, man. Yeah, it was a blast. It was a blast. I think we I think we learned a lot today. Yeah. We learned a lot about what people will tolerate <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> I mean, she the yeah. last shallow hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the last lady was just chilling. Oh I yeah. Mean, was... I mean, I feel like she's just had nothing to do today. Yeah. It's a Friday. It's you a know? Friday. That, that's those are the best prank calls. But they're just like, fuck it, sure, go yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go through. I'm I don't gonna, give a fuck. Yeah, I'm just gonna do every single. I'm I met my quota. Thing. I'm yeah. fine. You know exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's the beginning of the month. There's no pressure. Exactly. There's no yeah. pressure. Yeah. Exactly. All right. As yeah. always, you can check me out on Instagram and Twitter at local dingus. Check out uh, uh S and D pod on TikTok too. That's going pretty good. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's about it. Yep. And follow me on Instagram at Pastor Dave Bless. Okay. And f- subscribe to the YouTube. All right. We got vids coming. We got prank call vids. We got shorts. 
episodes. We got lawsuits. We got a lot of things. Yeah, we got up. lawsuits. <laughs> we got open cases. We got insurance scams. Slew, and slew and just, of negative comments. And just tell us what you want from us because we'll do anything. Yeah, we're kind of tired what of harassing you? businesses. So yeah. be like people who deserve it. We'd love to hit them. Instead. Yeah, <laughs> local menaces. That's what we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. All people right. have wronged the community. Okay. Have All a good right. night. Bye, Bye. Bye. Why are you man in Walmart? You are now streaming Red American Podcast Called s and We're gonna be making episodes So go ahead and click the download Something